Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a very quick selection using the threshold tool. Now we've seen this image before and I've decided that um, I want to change the sky on it. The sky is a bit dull and boring. Now there are a number of ways I could make a selection to cut this building out and paste it onto a different sky. I could, for argument's sake, use the magic wand tool by selecting the sky and you know, gradually selecting all, until all the sky is selected. But it, it can be quite fiddly, as you can see. You've got to keep holding down the Alt key and selecting a bit more and then a bit more and a bit more. So we're not going to do it that way. Another way of doing it is to use the magic lasso tool. And I could drag it around the edge of the building like this. Um, but then when I come to all these fiddly areas up the top, it's going to really struggle with some of these bits and to get it nice and even. So I'm not going to use that one either. Let's get rid of that one. I could go to Filter, Extract, and that would cope really well. But it would take a little while and I'd need a lot of tidying up afterwards um, to make a decent selection. But there's a much easier method that I'm going to use, which is particularly suitable for this image. And it's suitable for this image because there's a good contrast between the light sky in the background and the dark building. Anywhere you, where you've got a good contrast between the object that you want to cut out and the object you want to remove, or the part of the image you want to remove, this will work well with. It doesn't matter whether the building was light and the sky was dark, um, or the building's dark and the sky is light, as in this case. Providing there's a good contrast and not too much overlap, i.e. not too many mid-tones that are similar um, in lightness value to the, to the background. Okay, so where is this threshold tool? Well, the one I always like to use is the one that's in the Layers palette. So if you go down here into the Layers palette, and if you haven't got your Layers palette shown, go to Window and then click on layers here, make sure that layers is ticked and then that will appear. Okay, and at the bottom here, just click on the add new adjustment layer and you've got a whole list of, op of options for the adjustment layer and here's the one I want right at the bottom here called threshold. Okay, and we get one of these little histogram things come up again. I mean, this time we've only got one slider and it's the gamma slider. And what this does is it chooses the point um, that you want to differentiate between dark and light. So at the moment it's set in the middle and you can see that I've still got some of these building tones that are shown as white. All the white areas are the bits that are not going to be selected. The black area is the bit that's going to be selected. So obviously I don't want this because if I clicked OK on this I'd end up having the building selected with holes in it which I don't want. There should be some holes up here in the in the spire but there's no holes down here so all I have to do is to slide this slider back and forward to select a new threshold hence the name of this tool. If I slide it towards the dark end more of these mid-tone values are deselected I become white. You can see quite clearly now the outline of the building. If I slide it more towards the light end, more of those mid-tone values become selected and are now shown as black. And that is about the point where all the spots have disappeared that shouldn't be there. This one here is actually a, a little bit of sky showing through. So we'll leave it at that and click OK. OK, so now we've got a black and white, literally a black and white layer. <clears throat> so you think, well, what, what's, what's the good of that? That's, um, not really giving me much of an image, much of a selection. Well, all I've got to do now is click on this magic wand tool and select the sky. And oh, we've got a few little bits that are coming up here. So I can just get a big black pen, wash over those bits, come out of that, that's it, it's got rid of those spots. Okay, and now we've got, a, now we've got our selection. So I can turn that off. And now we see the sky has been selected. Now if I hit delete now, being as this is a background layer and locked, instead of making this transparent, it will turn, change it to my background colour of this orangey brown, which we clearly don't want. What we want is, is for this to go transparent, and so to do that we've got to change the background layer to an actual layer. So we have to double click on the background layer, and we'll get this dialog box come up. 
and it'll ask for a name or give you a default name of layer 0 which is fine for us but I can type in any name I want for that let's click OK and now this is a layer and that little lock symbol has disappeared now if I hit delete it will go to transparent there you go so you can see the checkerboard pattern behind showing you this is a transparent layer okay so we deselect that and now and now we need to put a sky in so I've got a sky here this will do okay now we'll drag this sky to the other image and these are in different um, color modes um, sRGB as opposed to Adobe RGB I'm quite happy for it to make its own conversion on this, not a problem so I'll click OK let's get rid of this one right now we want to make sure the sky is behind the church so we just drag the sky down what's going on here? I see it's behind the church now and now we want to make it bigger because it obviously doesn't fill the whole area so edit, transform, scale I'll hold the shift key down to keep the aspect ratio the same so it doesn't get distorted and I'll just drag one of these handles out there there, ok reposition it there, I think that's about right and hit return right now I could like finish it at that but looking at this image and if we go in a bit larger so you can see it too I can see there's some artifact in here around the edge of this building and basically this is a few stray pixels from the original background that are just clinging to the edges of our original selection now we can get rid of these in a number of ways we could go layer matting defringe which will change those pixels to dark go or at least it would if I had the right layer selected make sure you've got your building layer selected first so layer matting defringe and you see it's got they've gone dark so don't notice quite so much but they're still a bit rough I don't really like that so let's undo that instead we'll make this a selection again so we go control click and we'll go select modify contract we'll have one pixel then okay and then we'll go we'll feather it half a pixel and that's what you've got half a pixel in it and it's happy with feathering and now we'll inverse the selection because we've, remember we've got our building selected not the the sky and we want to trim a bit off this building so we'll just inverse it and now go delete select deselect and I think that's a slightly better edge than we had before from there to there there to there Okay, so now I'll go layer, flatten image, discard our hidden layers. Yes, we don't need this threshold layer anymore, so that's fine. And now I can just save it at that. For more tips and tutorials on using Photoshop, why not visit my website at www.sally-jane.co.uk.